Frigid temperatures today, wind chills near zero this morning. It's cold enough just being out for a walk for a few minutes. But what about folks who have to work out in the cold? We're talking about construction workers, farmers, first responders. Jessica Gway spoke with some of them today about what they're doing to stay warm. Hi, Jess. Hey, yeah, a construction crew actually told me today the heat is in the tools, which means the harder you work, the warmer you'll be, which is something I definitely need to remember when I'm really cold out reporting. And even though they're pretty much used to working in frigid temperatures, OSHA is still reminding them of the health risks. Now, Jay Francis Company is a remodeling company based out of Pittsburgh's north side. Some of their employees were working on a home in Venetia, Washington County today. We caught up with them there. They tell me they wear several layers of clothes, take breaks next to a kerosene space heater and just keep moving. Firefighters also have to brave the cold. North Strabane Assistant Fire Chief says that they have to use a lot of manpower to take turns getting warm at fire scenes. OSHA is calling on employers to train their workers on how to prevent and recognize cold stress like hypothermia. Symptoms include confusion, slurred speech, slowed heart rate, Trench foot symptoms include redness, swelling, and blisters, and frostbite. Signs are numbness, red skin develops, gray-white patches. You want to look out for that and can start to feel firm. Frostbite can set in pretty uh, quickly, uh, especially in, in, you know, your fingers and your toes. Uh, so being aware of, you know, uh, when you start to lose feeling and those sort of things, um, as soon as they start in, it's time to, uh, you know, uh, cycle out, get additional manpower, um, and move to move those personnel to warm places. It's important because of not only the own the worker safety on the job site, but for everybody that they're working with too, you know, uh, where it could be detrimental, you know, if people aren't keeping up on their, how they're feeling, you know, throughout the temperatures. An OSHA official tells me they can use the general duty clause for enforcement if they need to address a concerning cold stress situation. Firefighters tell me that everyone should be mindful when it's really cold outside, not just workers. They say to limit exposure time and get back inside as soon as you can. Reporting live, Jessica Gway, KDKA News. Good advice. Thank you, Jess.